In this video, we'll explore the design of a low noise amplifier or LNA using Keysight Technologies advanced design system combined with monolithics models for all components. Let's get started. This LNA includes the mini circuits TAV2-14 LN plus transistor. We see here that this device has an operating frequency range of 50 MHz to 10 GHz. At 6 GHz, the datasheet specifies a noise figure of 0.6 dB and a gain of 16.4 dB. Moreover, this device comes in a 2x2 mm package. Modelithics offers a nonlinear simulation model for the TAV2-14 LN Plus transistor. This is the model information datasheet. The measurements that were performed to validate this model include DCIV, multi-bias S parameters, noise parameters, and single and two-tone power sweeps. Now let's talk about the design goals for this LNA. We want the LNA to operate over a frequency range of 4.9 to 6 GHz. Over this frequency range, we want to achieve at least 13 dB of gain with a noise figure less than 1 dB. Now the monolithics model for this device is optimized for VDS values ranging from 3 to 5 volts and IDS values ranging from 15 to 60 milliamps. For this example, we'll go with a VDS of 3 volts and an IDS of 21 milliamps. VGS is 0.51 volts. The model datasheet shows modeled and measured S parameters for this bias condition. The datasheet also shows modeled and measured noise parameters. This is the schematic of the complete LNA design. We see our transistor model right here. Now for an LNA circuit, the input matching network should be designed to allow the LNA to achieve low noise figure. For this LNA, we'll place a series capacitor and a parallel inductor at the input of the transistor. These components serve as the input matching network. At the output of the transistor, we have a series capacitor along with an extended feed line. In addition, a 25 ohm series resistor is placed at the output of the transistor to improve the LNA stability. Let's point out here that monolithics microwave global models are used for all the RLC components. Now a good resource that's relevant to this example is Modelithics Application Note 64. Here you'll learn how Modelithics microwave global models are well suited for design scenarios that require tuning or optimization. For example, let's look at the series capacitor at the input. This is a microwave global model for the Marada GRM0335 capacitor series. This model covers a capacitance range of 0.1 to 120 picofarads. In this case, the values of this series capacitor and the parallel inductor in the input matching network were tuned to allow for optimal noise figure. Now, let's simulate this LNA and compare the results with measured data. This is one of the LNAs that was built and measured. The substrate used for this design is 6.6 .6 mil thick Rogers 4350B. In this case, we'll perform an EM circuit co-simulation. For more information on performing these types of simulations, check out Modelithics Application Note 77. Now, getting back to this example, let's perform the simulation and look at the results. This is the simulated gain of the LNA. We see that the gain ranges from 14.8 to 13.2 dB over the intended operating frequency range. Now let's compare these simulated results with measured data. These dash traces represent measured data of three LNAs. As we see here, there's good agreement between the measured data and the EM circuit co-simulation results. Shown here is the simulated noise figure. And again, 
we see good agreement between the measured data and the simulated results. Also, since the model lithics model for the transistor we're using is a nonlinear model, we can perform simulations beyond gain and noise figure. For example, we can perform a power sweep simulation to determine the LNA's 1 dB compression point. Let's perform a power sweep analysis at 5 GHz. To do this, we'll perform a harmonic balance simulation. Shown on the left here is the simulated output power versus input power. On the right, we have the simulated gain versus input power. These symbols represent measured data of one LNA. So we see how the model allows us to perform accurate swept power simulations. In the end, we've demonstrated first pass LNA design success using Keysight ADS combined with model lithics models. For a more in-depth look at the example shown here, check out model lithics application note 89. Well, that wraps up this video. For more information or to request a free trial, visit www.modelithics.com or email sales at modelithics.com.